When it comes to the general police state and world government being openly rolled out, this broadcast is basically becoming passe. So much of what I have specifically analyzed and warned people about, just learning how the globalists operate worldwide, is now right out in the open. But on their master plan and what they're doing to our genetics and what they're doing to the Earth's species, uh, flora, on that subject, my friends, the public has really no clue just how serious the situation has gotten. So I am going to attempt in the broadcast today to look at some of these different different facets that we face as a civilization and as a society. Catherine Albrecht, uh, security researcher, Dr. Catherine Albrecht will be joining us to talk about the waterfront of uh, NSA spying issues, uh, you name it, uh, and the whole transhumanist movement coming up in the third hour today and popping in for about 15, 20 minutes. Brandon Toy, whose uh, resignation letter as a defense contractor has gone viral, he's going to be popping in as well, but we will also uh, have open phones. Obviously, we're going to get into the new expanding global terror alert, and the controlled uh, state-run media is saying, obviously, we've got to get rid of all freedom now. After this devastating, credible threat, no one has seen anything so frightening and so scary. Aren't you scared, General Layden? Yes, I'm scared. Aren't you scared, General Alexander? Oh, I'm very scared. You watch this, it's like a Monty Python skit. I'm convinced that if Hitler would have said, give up your rights, America, or Muslim extremists will get you, that America would have run up you know, swastikas or something and bowed to Hitler or Stalin or any other authoritarian. I mean, this is just cuckoo level transparent. And they're saying, we got the same chatter pre-9-11. Race for it, you're gonna hit us up. And they've just, I've got videos pouring in all over the country, an orgy of grandstanding with police just everywhere, just setting up random checkpoints and running up people in grocery store parking lots. I'm going to search you with no warrant. I do what I want. And a homeless guy, you know, a cop gets in his face and homeless guy says, what are you going to do? Believe person, she pulls a gun out and shoots him in the chest. And the police are going, well, we may allow that, actually. I mean, it is all just going into hyper-warp insanity. And it's not just the government that's going crazy. They believe they're above the law, so you're seeing some of the most wild manifestations where, where TSA people will just jump on top women now at the TSA or take their clothes off and run around naked screaming, I'm God. That's happened quite a few times. Or SWAT teams arrive in an animal sanctuary where they have a baby deer and with, you know, armored vehicles and machine guns and kill the deer and then write tickets and fines running around crazy. The general public, and I know you're seeing this, is losing touch with reality. And it's because of television and the smartphones and all of it. I mean, we are going to see, we are going to see societal meltdown. And uh, the culture's going to go crazy. I, I'm afraid. I'm afraid there's going to be large regional wars very soon. And uh, they don't even care if nuclear reactors melt down now. They just say that's healthy. Ninety plus percent of reactors are leaking. I think you're going to see reactors blowing up. I mean, I just think you're going to see judgment, judgment on this world. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. 
products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com I'm going to be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen, and talk about just personal reflections that I'm having in personal quiet time when you are able to just briefly glimpse the secret place of the Most High, as the Bible says. In fact, I wasn't intending to do this on air now, but I, I'm, I was going to do it later. But will you guys pull me up the verse of dwell in the secret place of the Most High? I, I, I want to be able to read that full verse to people. And even if you don't believe in God, believe in spirituality, believe in an afterlife, believe in things outside of our five senses, which we know are there. Uh, in fact, most of the universe is outside of our five senses. And, and the, the sixth sense has been documented. But, but I had a real moment of clarity this morning. Well, more than a moment. It was about an hour of clarity. And I want to try to feebly as I may, transmit that information, at least from my perspective, and hopefully it can help you, and then you can, uh, you know, obviously comment on InfoWars.com and call into the show and give me your take on it uh, as well, and together we can become stronger. It's uh, the 91st Psalm. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall remain stable and fixed under the shadow of the Almighty whose power no foe can withstand. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God. On him I lean and rely, and in him I confidently trust. That's right, you've got to have a North Star, and all the psychological studies show this, that the most free and prosperous cultures the world has ever seen have been truly Christian. The problem is, is that the wealth that those societies create then creates decadence and the fall. And we saw this with Israel in its thousands of pre-Christian years when they would follow God's commandments and become incredibly successful and powerful and then become decadent and leave the commandments and then be overrun with the corrupt and then finally collapse and go into bondage. But I want to say that verse again to everybody out there before I get into the news. May we dwell in the secret place of the Most High. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall remain stable and fixed under the shadow of the Almighty, whose power no foe can withstand. Just saying that verse, I can feel the secret place of the Most High. And I feel ashamed. I feel ashamed of who I am and, 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 and of all of my imperfections when I glimpse from afar the secret place of the Most High. I do not dwell in the secret place of the Most High. But just like the silver lining of a cloud, I am able to see just the edge of it. And there is great peace and great majesty therein. And I think about what's happened in our culture. I think about everything that I see and all the psychology and all the psychological warfare I've studied and all the public relations and PR that I've studied that I use none of. I've gone and studied what the deceivers do and they themselves are deceived, the most deceived. They're now rolling out the fact that they have been deceiving us, but claiming that it was for our own good, that itself another deception within a deception, within a deception. But it really hit me. An image of astronauts spacewalking. This is my allegory, or my analogy, or my parable. I've seen interviews with astronauts that have done the big extended spacewalks going out and working on the International Space Station, working on their um, module, working on their capsule, working on the space shuttle when there's a problem. 
going out to do repairs, and they describe the first time you do it, even though you've been trained, when you come out and you're looking into the deepness of eternity and space, and then looking down hundreds of miles towards the earth, that it is a frightening but also exhilarating and gripping feeling. And that you feel almost a zen timelessness of all that was, is, and will be. And it, it's, it's a thousand times that exhilarating but also frightening feeling to stand on the edge of a cliff looking down thousands of feet into a gorge and a river below and to feel a gust of wind blow from behind you and almost have you topple down to your death. You see eternity laying there before you, and whether you consciously admit it or not, your spirit, your gut, your soul, your genetics, your cells that grew out of this creation, whether you believe or God or not, you are part of this creation and connected to all of it, you sense something a thousand times being on the edge of the cliff, a thousand times spacewalking and experiencing something that humans in their entire development never experienced. It is beyond that, that you are in eternity and that we are all on an incredible spacewalk right now on this planet with all of this mystery and majesty and the relationships and the men, the women, the children, your ancestors, the people you currently know and those that will come in the future. It is an epic epic, epic adventure. And then I see the general public and all the studies show this becoming more narcissistic, more megalomania is popping up, more people are going insane, believing that they're movie stars, that they're rock stars, uh, more people are becoming arrogant and uh, spiteful and cheating their friends and family and thinking that because they have knowledge of evil and are engaged in it, that somehow they've got power. That's because they have no North Star. They have no secret place of the Most High. They don't even have a connection to that. They can't even imagine that in their heart of hearts. And so they're just running wild, completely freaked out, completely scared, thinking, oh, Madison Avenue and Hollywood says that if I looked like a supermodel, I'd be happy. And then you grow old. And it's not about your grandchildren or your husband or your children or about helping orphans. It's about how you're not beautiful anymore, in quotes, and so you degenerate and become a wicked old witch. Or you struggle your whole life and have a wife and children, but you want to be a rap star, or you want to be a rock star, or you want to be a top basketball player, or you want to be a movie star. And because you were never able to do that, you're totally unhappy and have a nervous breakdown. I can't tell you how many people I have known throughout my life, friends, family, neighbors, you name it, that don't become as successful as they wanted to be and then have a nervous breakdown and go insane. All of you right now know people that have done that. That's the most common thing that makes people go insane. Or they get incredible success and then go on a power trip and go crazy. When everything that you could ever want was right there. Friends, family, being honorable, being loving, being strong, being heroic, being true. But the world tells you those things are a joke. Those things make you fail. And the truth is, that's a lie. And it just hit me this morning. I went for a jog for a couple miles and then walked back early in the morning. And it was so beautiful. The trees and the flowers and the rabbit I saw run across the path and a babbling brook. Staring into the blue sky that went on for eternity. That I was gripped with the understanding of the cycles that humanity has gone through. And it was so 
sad to realize how shuttered, how closed in, how dumbed down, how unaware of the average person is. And it's been done artificially. It's been done artificially by this sick modern culture. And it's not technology itself that's evil. It is the architecture of the way it's been deployed. For full spectrum dominance is just a blasphemous crime against our species. And I think about third world villages I've been in with poor children with cane poles with electricity in their eyes, so happy to be staring into a beautiful stream catching fish. And then I think about rich, wealthy, decadent children, totally confused, totally upset, running to and fro to play dates and events and, and, and uh, different activities, desperately looking for fulfillment with their mothers and their fathers, desperately looking for fulfillment when fulfillment was already there in the secret place of the Most High. And that the whole world has now been built, even of old, the old temples, the old systems, the old art of the secret priesthoods, to suppress the fact that majesty and wonder and creation is all around us. And that we are fulfilled by simply breathing air into our lungs. And that we are now being put into a fully artificial cage, an artificial habitat a giant electromagnetic gulag in the preparation for world mass extermination. And it's all public, it's all admitted. The NSA is on record spying on the general public. We're gonna get to that when we come back. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show. I'm going to get into the giant new developments on the NSA front actually at the start of the next segment. I want to finish up with just the desperation of our decadent society. And we know where it's going 100%. It's, it's, it's historically a cycle, and we know exactly what's going to happen. And I want to I wanna break down just in, in generality what we're facing. And then coming up, exclusive Reuters reports. U.S. Uh, directs agents to cover up program used to investigate Americans for common crimes. And it goes on to say that marijuana, uh, you name it, uh, Water in your lawn on the wrong day, the NSA gets all that and gives it to local government. Yeah, that's what the threat fusion centers are for. But then they play games and go, we don't spy, we just gather the data, and the computer makes the decision, so that makes it okay. Kind of like the family that Googled last week, the Italian family in Florida. No criminal record, just nice family. Googled, uh, Googled uh, pressure cooker, you know, to order one, I've, I've got a couple of pressure cookers to cook things. I guess I'm a terrorist. And then separately, their kids were getting ready to go to school. So the next day, they looked up backpacks. And so they got a SWAT team raid. And remember, the government runs Al-Qaeda on record. We're going to get to the whole fake terror alerts all of it in the next segment. Uh, so some big news breaking right now. While the globalists, under international treaty, wire all the electronics so they can surveil and take control of them and then go, oh, my gosh, we need bigger government agencies to counter the hackers because now they can hack your smartphone, hack your washing machine, hack your smart meter, hack your toilet. That's luxury toilet users warned of hardware flaw. The hackers may flood your house with them. This is such a sick joke, ladies and gentlemen. We are building the pit for our own destruction. By the way, I have an article uh, out of Reuters again they said there's an emergency with radioactivity spewing out of the five reactors that blew up in Japan. How many years are we into this now? Three months into it, they caught yellowfin tuna and bluefin in the Pacific off the coast of California. So radioactive that just eating it is just guaranteed to take many years off your life. The government decided to not tell you, <laughs> but it came out a year after. they. I mean, boy, let me tell you, you know, 
alarms go off in Southern California on the reactors now? What's their answer? They turn the alarms off. 91% of global reactors of 425 or whatever it is are leaking. Uranium, plutonium, everything else, ladies and gentlemen, to the point now they're just like, you know what? We're going to let them leak. Don't worry about it. It's like a science fiction movie, like they're space aliens that live in a radioactive environment and want to radiate us. I mean, it's, it's like you got to think of some reason they do that. But no, they just have a death wish. It's what psychopaths always do in history. They, they just want to get caught. They want to hurt themselves. Their own hardwiring, even though they're consciously and spiritually a psychopath, still the humanity in them wants to destroy them. And so they, they manifest it, so they want to destroy themselves with us, of course, along with them. And that's what I wanted to get to. People are freaked out by the fact that they're only alive once. They're, they're totally freaked out by the fact that they were born and they're living and then they'll die and they're on a planet where they, you know, dig up all these bones of woolly mammoths and saber-toothed tigers and mastodons and 20-foot sloths. That was just 10,000 years ago, you know, they think. And then you go back before that, there's all these dinosaurs and plesiosaurs and 50-foot-long great white megalodon sharks and there's a big moon orbiting and you know, rainstorms come by and lightning and just uh, there's insects everywhere and bacteria. I mean, it, we are living just, I, I just walk around marveling at an ant bed or at birds or at the sky or at my children or at just, just a literature, uh, classical music. I just, it's just every day is a blessing. Every day is a banquet. Every day is just, just an over the top hallucination of reality. Reality is an hallucination of consciousness. What do you call an hallucination? Uh, the, you know, that's when your mind, when you have a fever or whatever the case is, distorts what it's seeing. But I mean, what do you call reality? When you think about reality, when you think about the nature of it, when you think about what you could build and do, they call that an hallucination. No, they call that thought. And so deep down, everybody knows that they are in the middle of just an incredibly heavy event. And they sense that the establishment's gone insane and does not have their best interest at heart. And now they know the system's lying to them. So it's like a giant spacewalk or standing at the edge of a cliff. And then people are running towards all the baubles and all the fame and all the ego stuff, thinking that is something they can cling to. When it's not, you've got to just turn loose in the sea of reality, and then you will dwell in the secret place of the Most High. Then you will suddenly realize there's something else there. It's God. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show.